Assalamu alaikum and hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I think it's about like a day in a life. The flowers are starting to bloom and I think this means like it's spring or the spring has already started or it's nearly spring is gonna start soon but it looks really beautiful. So today's breakfast I made keema buns. I had I made these keema buns uh, days before then I, I put them in the freezer so today I'm just taking it out from the freezer put egg at the top and sim sim and put in the oven for breakfast then I had it with my tea I wanted to try this Sif cream. It's my first time trying this. I wanted to try on my sink. I usually use the pink spray. Okay, while the sif cream is doing its magic, I just wanted to show you this bumper cleaning kit I bought in Asda. It had that squeegee thing, the brush, the sponge, and the dustpan and its brush. And I think this is a dishwasher, I think so, not sure. But yeah, I'm not gonna use it for dish. So I'm just gonna take this sponge, I'm gonna use it on my sink. After washing my sink, I have to take a kitchen towel or just a dry towel and dry the sink, dry off the water. If I don't do this, I don't know why. I don't feel like the sink is clean if I see water. So I have to I have to like dry it, then the sink looks like it's clean. I feel like it looks much cleaner without a drop of water. My fruit basket needed a little bit of white so uh, then I'm gonna try this melon I call it white melon but I think it's written sweet snowball that's why it's called I think try that melon today I've never tried this melon before A clean sink without even a drop of water only lasts like maybe even less than five minutes <laughs> then you just back to like using the sink but anyways now I'm cutting the melon I'm moving the seeds with a spoon you know a teaspoon I'm just using that teaspoon to move the seeds then I'm gonna cut the melon into pieces I 
I had this kiwi. It's been for more than a week, but I've never used. Um, I don't know. I just feel lazy to eat it, so I'm just cut down the kiwi, put a chili powder and salt. Then I just had it like that. I don't know. It just reminded me like um, uh, you know, like raw mango with the uh, salt and red chili powder. And it's my mother-in-law brought the chips and the burger, so that what well, that's what we had for lunch. And now I'm making dinner: muhogo ya nazi and nyama kavu, nyama pilipili manga, nyama kavu ya pilipili manga. And I think nyama kavu in English is like I don't know meat curry. Is it meat curry? But it has no like liquid and it's just dry meat curry with uh, black pepper powder the and muhogoya nazi is coconut cassava i've already added one large onion and two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste now i'm adding the kilogram of mutton mix i'm gonna saute it then add two teaspoons of uh, tomato paste then i'll add black pepper you can use half teaspoons or one teaspoon or even more it depends on how you want it add salt to your taste then you can if you want your meat curry to be hot you can add green chilies just cut in four pieces then chuck in if you don't want it hot then you don't need to add green chilies you can just remove the seeds maybe and just add the green chilies to make it less hot now I'm making the coconut cassava I've added the coconut in the pan I've added tomato and one onion then I'm gonna let it boil don't add lots of water just add a little bit of water just to cover the cassava and let it boil till the cassava cooks and becomes soft now I'm making the chili paste for the cooked tomato chili we call it in Swahili pilpilia tomato I'm using one whole lemon two teaspoons of chili powder and two teaspoons of salt by the way i've been checking my meat and adding more water when my meat is, was still like hard i've been adding more water till my meat became soft or you can just pressure cook it to cook it faster you don't need to add more water and water all the time just pressure cook it but i wanted to cook it like this slower now i'm making the cooked tomato chili i added onion then i sauteed the onion till slightly brown Now I'm adding the chili mix we made earlier, then I'm gonna saute it, then I'll add the one can of chopped tomatoes, one tablespoon of tomato paste, then let it boil. Once it starts to boil, reduce the heat and let it cook on slow heat till the water in the tomato dries up and you see a little bit of oil on the sides, then you know it's cooked. You can test your tomato and add more salt if you need. So meanwhile, I'm checking on my cassava. The water reduced to half. I'm adding whole green chilies. Now I'm making my coconut paste. I'm adding four and a half tablespoon of coconut powder. Mix it with half cup of water and pour into the cassava. But if your cassava has lots of water uh, you just use that water in the cassava and mix it with coconut powder once you pour the coconut milk into the cassava let it boil for a little bit then you'll see the difference the coconut milk will turn thicker a little bit thicker it won't be watery so then you know it's ready The cooked tomato, the coconut cassava and the meat is all ready now.
thank you guys for watching my videos if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe like and comment see you next time bye bye